We're in today with the R9 295. This is a 2014 video card with 2816 shaders. It's got 4 gig of VRAM, GGDR5, 1018 megahertz on the core clock, 1250 megahertz on the memory clock, 512 bits bus width, DirectX 12, and we're gonna pair up with this. Uh, E5 2699v4 with 22 cores and 22 threads with hyperthreading disabled. Today we're gonna jump in a couple of games that are not compatible with Crossfire and we are going to explore other options from Crossfire that allows this video card to be forced in Crossfire and see how they are handling. Majority of the game they won't work or they will have a lot of bugs or artifacts or incompatibility with Crossfire. I don't know. The best thing we can do for this video card with uh, this uh, type of uh, settings is to jump in a couple of games and see how it holds. There are a couple of options here that you can see with IMD in order to select uh, Crossfire. Default mode is like the most generic thing. That means the uh, game is supporting Crossfire and you will have no problem. The moment you select default mode is going to perform flawlessly. You will get double the performance. You will get with one single video card. AFR friendly is the new one that is uh, for uh, AMD that is forcing the video card to run in uh, Crossfire, but it will have a lot of bugs. You know, it will go on the performance side than the uh, compatibility. Optimize is the generic one that is the old way on Crossfire that is forcing one frame to a GPU and the second frame to the second core of the video card, you know, so it will have less FPS, but it will uh, split the load on the video card. And FAR compatible is similar like the first one, FAR friendly, but it's focusing on compatibility and less performance. Still, it's going to have a lot of problems because I tested a couple of games and I was like, Yep, both of them they have problems. Regardless, today is about testing games and seeing the modes, how they are performing with the R9 295. Let's jump in a couple of games and see how it's running with uh, a couple of modes. Should we start with the PUBG? Let's start with PUBG. I'm gonna put it on default mode here and see how it's running. This is gonna be very interesting because I have IMD Crossfire X logo in the corner. Never knew that IMD was more compatible in Crossfire than Nvidia because with Nvidia I had only problems. When I see the settings, uh, I, apparently it's not working really well with this one. So I'm gonna put it on very low. I'm gonna keep it like this with 100% render scale and very low. Okay, let's start with default mode and see how the game is performing. I got uh, 456 watts consumption. I got crossfire enabled on default mode and this is very surprising for me because I thought PUBG was uh, not compatible with uh, Dual BJ because that's what I learned in Nvidia uh, trying to force it. But in this case, you can actually see I got nearly 50 FPS on average, I'll take that, and 460 maximum, 457 watts consumption. This is a very interesting performance, you know? So I got 2.1 gig of VRAM utilization. I want to stay still and I don't want to, uh, how should I say, corrupt uh, this because this, this is a very interesting performance. It looks doggo. You see a lot of artifacts around. So Crossfire, not very compatible. I think the performance will be much better if I um, disable one core, you know? So that will be 100% the performance I want. This is FAR friendly. You can actually see based on the quality that is not very, how shall I say, compatible friendly. <laughs> you know, it says FAR friendly, but it's based on the performance. I got 600 watts consumption on this occasion. I got 230 FPS, very fluent, you know, low MS here. This is how I would like to play PUBG, but uh, not very efficient on the, <laughs> on the screen. You understand? I got 620 watts consumption maximum with uh, 220 FPS on FPS. Average. You can see both of the core are maxed out, 1.9 gig of VRAM utilization and uh, very snappy. I got like 3-4 uh, MS in this case. You can see that even if I shoot and I look around, there's some spikes here and there, but uh, yeah, definitely, definitely the performance I would really like in PUBG with a video card like this. Is it compatible with Crossfire? Yes, it shows you the logo. Is it playable because you see the screen perfect? No. <laughs> this is what they are referring to FR friendly. You know, you get a lot of bugs, but you get the maximum performance from the video card as a dual BGA. This is a very interesting test and I want to show you more. Now I have optimized one-on-one. -on -one. This is the mode that I have now with 
48 to 60 fps that's actually interesting 440 watts consumption from this computer only 2.1 gig of uh, vram utilization and the cores are not fully loaded based on the wattage i will say that's true either way optimized one-on-one -on -one is still much better than uh, fr um, friendly because i can actually see you can see that the bugs are not here there, there are some bugs here than there you can actually see them but it's still much better without destroying your screen uh, image in this case apparently even with the bugs it's still possible to actually play the game and uh, get a playable fps you know 68 69 it's 100 render scale but it's doing uh, crossfire and it's got the logo in the corner so with this mode apparently it's much better than the default mode for friendly even though i like that performance but it, i cannot see nothing because of the the screen so yeah i will take this just in case you want to play PUBG and you don't want to he hit up only one core this is the best settings by far in this moment now here comes the last setting that is afr compatible <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to spoil it, but this is the best settings. I got 77 FPS. I got a decent load on the course of the video card. I got 450 watts consumption from the main wall. I would say this is an uh, adequate performance from this system. Let's see. Do I have any artifacts? Well, apparently no, no artifacts. AFR compatible is the one is doing a fantastic job on giving you the FPS, not uh, stressing you with those uh, stupid artifacts in the game so the the compatibility here with this uh, video card in this mode is uh, supreme there is no other way you want to play the games you understand so if you're interested uh, on uh, playing PUBG with uh, an r9 295 this is the only way but if we're jumping in fortnite with the same configuration let's take a look and see what we got here i got full screen uh, 1080p and performance mode because i'm interested on in actually playing the game and uh, having a lot of fps all right so this is default mode because uh, i want the best fps here in this occasion oh damn around 300 150 watts uh, consumption from this computer with 130 in some occasions definitely not the right configuration here i got the fr friendly and is still using one uh, core of the video card you know so 340 watts consumption and uh, only 130 fps on average you know i think this is a generic number that i had previously sometimes it's jumping to 200 sometimes to 130 but uh, this is the best you can do you know if you are interested on playing Playing this game i think this is the right uh, way to do it i'm not joking when i say this is optimized one-on-one uh, -on -one, and yet fortnite still refused to work with uh, dual bj i'm still on full screen i don't know what's going on but uh, definitely not the right uh, performance here when it comes to this uh, type of uh, video cards i think this is a very interesting performance i like this idea of dual bj but if the game doesn't support you can do nothing seriously i got hundreds of fps so there is no problem on actually utilizing this uh, video card in fortnite Night. i will say overall performance is great like uh, every single time if it's not working with dual bga there is no problem on uh, uh, saying that this is not the right game to play with an r9 295 seriously this is the last option afr compatible if you're not uh, running crossfire here apparently the game is not meant for this so if you're interested on in actually playing the game with uh, this type of uh, video card you need to understand that it's not possible a very good performance when it comes to fortnite with with R9295 you can actually see even with uh, the last mode it's very interesting to see it how it's performing but uh, it's not compatible with uh, this uh, game seriously it's very sad but uh, definitely not the right uh, combination this game is awesome let me explain why it looks fantastic it's running fantastic i got 100 fps on uh, default mode in cross out you get uh, 100 fps i want to stay here i want to see how many watts uh, it's averaging because this is very important Important. so if i get 400 let's say 430 watts consumption this is a good performance you know so i will take this as a big win this is the generic uh, settings when it comes to crossfire why i'm saying this game because you're gonna see some nasty here i prevent you listen listen to me listen 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 if you have problems with your eyes or flashy things i will advise you to just skip this game and just like the video and i will see you in the next one because here from now on is going to be very horrible you understand i'm going to show you some horror 
things that Crossfire is doing, yes? So I got 1080p with maximum details. This is very important because you can cheat it by putting low details, you know, <laughs> but I max it out because I want to show you some really nasty stuff. Welcome to AFR Friendly. Okay, you remember PUBG when it happens with AFR Friendly, you got in PUBG, you got 620 watts. Same thing, 638 watts. In AFR Friendly, I will put here 650 watts, yes? 650 watts consumption from one video card. This is maxed out, you understand? Theoretically, this is the ideal performance you would like from an R9 295. 214 FPS, magnificent. 3.1 gig of VRAM utilization. Both of the cores are utilized, aside from gameplay, because everything is good. Even the Crossfire logo, it's on. But you can't see shit, you understand? If you move around, look. <laughs> what happens if I shoot? Holy f this is horrible. A lot of uh, effects, it's uh, creating this problem. So if you put it on low details, maybe with uh, legacy GPU, like performance mode, like in Fortnite, it will be much better. You understand? You'll have less bugs that doesn't look like this, you know? Optimize one-on-one. -on -one. I got 523 watts uh, consumption. 520. This is actually a good number. 85 FPS, 2.9 gig of VRAM utilization. Hmm, very interesting. It shows the logo there, but uh, yeah, the moment you drive <laughs> i think the maximum quality here is breaking the game in pieces but regardless it's not pink anymore maybe if you drive super slow it's okay you know maybe if you're zooming if you're zooming uh, it doesn't matter and ah, there's a lot of glitches everywhere regardless i got 520 watts consumption got 96 fps 3.1 gig of vram utilization and both of the cores are being utilized i mean not at 100 percent because you can actually see they are dipping below 100 percent it's very interesting to see this type of glitches he moves super slow this is uh, some render stuff this is afr compatible hopefully i will get some gameplay and uh not a lot of bugs, yeah? Yeah, definitely is buggy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think maximum details managed to kill it because uh, I did test it with low details and it was uh, actually, you know what? On low details, it was even horrible because I had the whole map dropping on the tank, you know? And I was like, what the heck is going on? At least like this is very fuzzy and it's very weird, you know? Imagine seeing a building or a texture from there, from a hill on your tank, you know, co covered and sometimes even crashed. But regardless, I got a little more FPS in uh, F4 compatible and uh, 550 watts consumption from this i would say this is a very decent performance but it's not very compatible you know the moment you start moving around you can see that it's uh, not very ideal i'm not gonna lie this is a shock for me i actually thought that uh, dota was not compatible with the sli and crossfire this is the basic one default mode uh, on uh, crossfire profile you can actually see i got the logo i'm <laughs> the crossfire in dota 2 1080p maximum details I'm actually surprised how it's working, seriously. This computer apparently it's reaching nearly 500 watts uh, consumption from this and uh, definitely an interesting performance. What the heck is going on there? All right, so it's uh, lots of uh, FPS drops here to 59 when I'm on a team fight. I got uh, 2.1 gig of VRAM utilization. Maximum cores are not uh, there, you know, the cores are not maxed out, but definitely an interesting idea, you know? So playing Dota with uh, less than 10 MS is fantastic. This is how I would like to play Dota. Majority of the time, I'm uh, imagining that I need some high-end video card in order to benefit from that. But in this case, this R9 295 managed to do a very pleasant uh, surprise. And I'm very happy that I managed to see this. With FR friendly, there's a lot of glitches in the game with 1080p and maximum details. I, this is very interesting performance from this because I think uh, I have a, a couple of threads that are creating some problems in Dota. Seriously, because I have the same performance, 110 FPS, with uh, the cores not uh, being utilized at maximum. I will say that uh, this is the cap on the CPU side, but I'm very happy that I managed to see AFR friendly how it's performing in this case. It's exactly the same performance like I had in default mode. Apparently, this is less stressful on your eyes with nearly the same performance, 490 watts consumption and still 100 FPS. Very, very interesting that is only one mode and that's it. Seriously, default mode and uh, everything, they are the same. In this case, I'm with the last profile that is AFR compatible. You can actually see there's not a lot of glitches 
watches, the same wattage consumption, the same FPS, everything is linear. I'm very proud of this video card and how it's performing in Dota 2, seriously. This is an awesome performance and I really appreciate uh, this game utilizing this R9295. Seeing that logo that AMD Crossfire X there is just fantastic. So there is nothing different. All of the profiles are the same. They have the same performance. So yes, I think there is a problem maybe with my threads on the CPU side. Maybe I can get uh, in the future a different CPU. But And if I, let's say, I have a high-end uh, CPU, I will get more FPS, but all of the profile will be the same. I had a blast making this video. Seriously, I managed to understand a couple of things about this uh, AMD video card. I managed to understand about uh, Crossfire X how it's performing in a couple of games. I managed to see some interesting games, but uh, ideal will be in the future to keep making this type of uh, videos, you know, because I want to see more games and how they are performing with SLI and uh, Crossfire. So if you're interested, please leave a comment about this type of uh, video because it's very important, you know. Take some new games, put a, a Crossfire video card, take some new games, put an uh, SLI video card and just run with them because it will be a very interesting uh, test benchmark in the future if you're interested like i said leave a comment and uh, we're gonna go from there i want to do this in the future i will have to look for a video card that is not this r9295 because this is not okay i will have to find a video card that is more friendly you know with uh, temperature this is a very huge video card and i hate that radiator and how i need to install it i have to put it on top i have to screw it i have to secure it every single thing this is this how should i say very efficient video card when it comes to thermals very powerful video card but it's very hard to handle so when i have to make benchmarks like this it's very <laughs> I need a video card that is more friendly to this. I have an idea what video card I want to use in the future, but uh, we're gonna see if it's working. I like this video card, and the only thing I want in the future is to find more games that are working like this. Aside from Fortnite that had problems and I'm very disappointed. I don't know what you think about this, but I like the video card. I like this Crossfire benchmark. I like this Crossfire idea that is when it comes to gaming, you know? But if you have any suggestion for this, leave a comment and I will see you very soon.